Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise, and today we're at the Whiskey Show here in London. We're joined by Craig, Soren, we're at the Paul John stand. We're about to go and adventure the whole of the Whiskey Show. Let's go. We're going to begin the vlog at the Bloggers Breakfast, which was hosted by Billy Abbott there at the front. And uh, in this vlog, you're going to see everything from interviews, whiskeys I tried, the people I met, and including a summary of the overall event. And I have to include a slow pour look at that gorgeous liquid gold. Now, it was a liquid breakfast, and thank goodness Billy brought some donuts because I went there absolutely hungry. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to Billy, which you'll see up on screen. He works at the Whiskey Exchange, and without him, we wouldn't have had the Bloggers Breakfast. And we actually tried three products. Products. And some of you will be wondering, what did you try? Well, we had two whiskies, one being a 40-year-old Strat Isla and also a cognac, which was really, really beautiful. So we're going to actually now jump downstairs and head into the vlog. So guys, you can see here I'm at the Glenfiddich stand and this year they've actually got a few special releases, including the new one from the Experimental Series, which features a... I think it's a ice wine cast, which you'll see over there. But I want to just introduce you guys to Eddie from Millers of Soho. He's the bar manager. I'll leave his links just over here, so you can go give him a follow. Great chap, and uh, we're going to go and explore some Glenfiddich. So we're joined here with the brand ambassador from Glenfiddich, Mark, and we're going to talk a little bit about the experimental series because I've got a new release. So we've currently got the first two, and Mark, which are the first two that we've got currently? So we're running with uh, IPA, uh, India Pale Ale finish in our first release, which came out in September last year. Uh, and the hot on the heels of that was the Project 20, not to be confused with XX or Kiss Kiss, just to make that very clear. <laughs> uh, the first one, IPA cast, was uh, an interesting collaboration with uh, a local brewer to look at the effects of an IPA beer and the hoppiness, the oiliness of that, and how that would transfer and work quite nicely with Glenfiddich, which is already a light space side fruity style of whiskey. The second release, Project 20, was a completely different collaboration, utilizing the skills of the 20 ambassadors from around the world of Glenfiddich, of which I am one. Uh, we all picked individual casks. Completely uh, random, we had no idea why they were being chosen. We thought we were getting single cast bottlings, which would have been thumbs up for us. Uh, unfortunately for us, but fortunately for the customers, we created Project 20. Uh, it's an amalgamation of 17 bourbon casks, two sherry butts and a port pipe. It's left at a slightly higher strength. So between the two expressions, we're offering something light and fruity with a little bit of a quirky finish to it and in something rich, bold and spicy in the others. So we've kind of hit both palettes for our whiskey lovers. All right, and today, at the, currently, we've got the new release that was announced, I believe, last week, which is the Experimental Series number three. I do indeed. Let me just grab that. So our third release, which is supposed to be a bit of a secret, but we've had it at the show here over the last three days at the whiskey show, is Winter Storm, which is a 21-year-old Glenfiddich whiskey finished in a Canadian ice wine cask. So that's an unusual thing. It's not unusual for whiskey. The Canadian whiskey companies have been doing it for quite some time. But we thought it would be interesting to see how that combination of a drier, slightly sweeter style of ice wine, uh, which is almost a dessert wine, 
would transfer well with a, a Glenn Fiddick. We actually picked out something as a 21-year-old to work best with the slightly savoury character of that whisky. Younger whiskies would be a little bit overpowered by it, but the 21 handles this very well. It's gone down exceptionally well, despite being a sort of under-the-counter dram. Everyone seems to know we have it here. And the feedback so far has been incredible. It'll be on general release in a couple of weeks' time in the UK, but it is very limited. So it's one of these ones to grab as soon as you can. All right, so that's one thing we're going to be covering here on the channel. I've currently done the IPA and the Project XX, and that's the next one on the list to do, the Winter Storm. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Mark, for joining us. Pleasure. pleasure also, guys, back. go follow Mark. I'll leave his social media links on the screen so you can go and just literally give him a follow on Twitter or even, I believe, Instagram. So. Instagram Instagram is the best one for me. I'm yeah. too lazy for Twitter now. It's no too fast worries. moving. So we'll leave the Instagram links over on the screen. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. After that, we went over to Cavalan and we got to meet the master distiller himself, Ian Chang, along with Kelly and Emma. And I want to say a massive thank you to Kelly. She allowed me to try the whole Cavalan range. She knows how much I love it. And uh, we went and experienced some of the Cavalan Solis, Manzanilla cast, the Pedro Jimenez, just really mind-blowing whiskey. So thank you very much on that. We then headed over to Alsa Bay and got to meet James. And actually shared a dram with James and some under-counter stuff. So cheers, James. And then after that, moved over to Glen Livet where they had a cask experience. Now that was actually hosted by Phil Huckle and we got to go through some of the really interesting single cask expressions from Glen Livet, including all of the Naduras. Now if you don't know Phil, he's the brand ambassador for Shiva. So thank you very much to Phil. Now also I wanna show you here on the channel what I actually tried as it's gonna be reviewing everything. And some of the whiskeys I tried were absolutely insane but we're gonna start with just a few of them. Basically, there was a lot of whiskies going on, but that's not including the rare and vintage. Wait for these. So as you can imagine, there was a lot of whiskies at this show, and uh, we're going to move now into another interview, so we'll jump back to the vlog. So next up, we're here with the Glen Keedam and the Tom and Tull, and we're joined by the actual global ambassador here, Ian. So Ian, tell us what's new this year with Tom and Tull or even Glen Kedam. Um, so we've got a couple of new releases. Uh, we've just brought out the Tom and Tull 21, uh, which is returning to us. Um, so that's, that's been out of stock for a few years, with a brand new release as of three months ago. Uh, and also we've got a brand new Glen Kedam as well, which is the Glen Kedam Rear Wicked. Alright, if you want you can show us which one, you, uh, which one it is. So I think it's this one over here. This one here. So the Rear Wicked was literally brought up last month. Um, and this is a limited run of 6,000 bottles, made from the first few months of when we took over the distillery in 2003. Uh, it's got a really high portion of first fill, we're talking about 60 plus percent of first fill casks. Okay. Uh, and then a one liner, it's, it's like liquid sugar diamond, so oh, another kind of creamy buttery style. So this is a distillery that we don't really hear so much about in the mainstream, but uh, yeah. it's now making a really big movement. I've been really enjoying the 21. Yeah. And so uh, that's one that I'd highly recommend people give a try this year. You can see here we've got the stand here at Tom and Tool. And uh, Ian's taking us for a few of his own certain ones that we're going to try, and you'll actually see on Instagram. Ian, do you have any sort of social media contact if you want to? People want to contact you, Instagram or uh, Twitter? Yeah, so you can find me on Instagram as Whiskey Wino, um, Whiskey without the E, of course, uh, and W I N O. Uh, on Twitter, I'm the Whiskey Boy. Uh, so I'll leave both links over here at the I, bottom. I have some social media ramblings, so, so I'd love to chat to anyone on that side as well. Any questions at all? Brilliant. So we're going to get into tasting some of these here, and. Uh, yeah, I'll leave Ian's link, so if you guys want to contact him, brilliant guy, that's Tom and Tom. So next up we move into the Rampur Distillery from India, and we're joined by Sanjeev here. So you can take us through the Rampur Distillery. Hi, we're proud to present Rampur Indian Single Malt at the Whiskey Show. This is our second year. We launched it last year in the UK, exactly one year ago, to a tremendous response. It's globally launched in Las Vegas in April last year. Currently available in 18 countries. Just won the double gold at the San Francisco Spirit Competition. There's been picking up a lot of awards over here. You can see this is the Rampour Select. And you can even see over here, it's tucked away. It's a beautiful product. This is something that I really have enjoyed thoroughly this show. And it's actually something new to me. So um, where will we be able to find this one and how much is retailing for? This is available at the Whiskey Exchange, currently at Whiskey Exchange, $49.95. Produced by a distillery that was established in 1943. So we celebrate our 75 years next year. This is a 100% Indian single malt using Indian barley, 
taste for a very, very long time in first American bourbon class in Indian weather conditions. So it's a fantastic product, very fruity, very floral, <laughs> hint of spices, an easy drinking bowl. You will enjoy it and you like to drink it all the time. Excellent. So Rampur guys, if you get a chance, find this bottle. It's very reasonably priced at 50 pounds. I think it's an absolute steal and it's something I highly recommend. You can see over here, non-chill filtered. That's Rampur for you. And uh, we'll feature it on the channel. So before I wrap up the video, I want to just say a massive thank you to all the people I've met at the London Whiskey Show. And as I've been asked to summarize the show, it's absolutely amazing. If you can get down for two days, because literally one day feels too short to try so many whiskeys. Um, but if you can get down for two days, it's absolutely incredible. The amount of whiskey you can try, uh, some of the most incredible dream drams, uh, it just makes the show just insane and that's one thing I have to say it's just incredible and also to meet all the different people I met at the show now whether you are brand ambassadors you'll see them pop up on screen um, the company owners um, but more importantly I want to thank you guys my subscribers you make it absolutely magical and um, I had so a few people came up to me when I was standing at Paul John helping out uh, and said I think that's Jason Whiskey Wise and I was like yeah it's me nice to meet you guys and he was like Yes, that's you. And then it's like, we need to, I need to shake your hand. So thank you very much. You know who you are. Um, and also to all of the subscribers that I'll meet along the way at other whiskey shows and including one of the guys who actually shouted from across the room. And this is a big hall. He shouted across. I think that's Jason Whiskey Wise because I'm running around with my Joby recording. So uh, thank you very much. I want to say also thank you to the ambassadors uh, who were included in this video who actually wanted to do an interview as uh, it just sort of made the video as itself. And without further ado, I want to quickly mention a few people just at the end, uh, because I worked with them a little bit on the second, on the first day that I was there. Uh, one would be Shilton Ahmeda, who is the uh, Paul John brand ambassador, and Andrew Shear, um, who does his own blog, Andrew Shear. So uh, be sure to check those guys out. You'll also see Ben Bowers from A Drama Day, who works with Gordon McFells, and Luke, who uh, we were love working alongside them at the end of the day, and it was just incredible. The way in which you get a family atmosphere from just people like that. And then before also finishing, uh, Vin PF, who also has his own no-nonsense whiskey, and you'll see Gentleman Grim right at the back. So uh, I got to meet them briefly, but I want to say thank you to you guys, and hopefully you'll see a few upcoming YouTube series where we'll feature also a lot more people from the whiskey industry. So uh, before that, I think I'm going to wrap the video up here. If you guys have enjoyed Bar Meets, a like is always appreciated. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're going to be covering many more whiskey reviews, uh, whiskey vlogs, uh, taking you to distilleries. We're going to have so much jam-packed in the upcoming weeks and years of this channel. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you for subscribing. This has been Jason Whiskey Wise. And that was a summary of the London Whiskey Show.